gray water systems. This is a really, uh, why we're not doing this on a large scale in the United States is just boggles the mind. It boggles the mind. This is very simple. Now, it, it, you can go from the very simple to the complex. Okay, we have uh, uh, highly complex systems that can be installed and you gotta rework the, everything from septic to, to all of your lines, or you can do the very simple. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. But containment, treatment, and distribution. Right, you wanna contain your gray water, uh, treat it if necessary, and for us, treating it means letting it run through reeds and cattail. Okay, it's called a, a, a botanical cell. Now, all that means botanical is, is just plants. You're using plants to filter water. That's the natural water cycle anyway, right? So that's, that's the whole water cycle anyway, and that's how most of our water is cleaned anyway. Now, it, it hits streams and rivers and it's polluted, and so we, we, we treat it more, uh, but in the natural cycle of things, it's our plants and trees that are filtering our water. So it's no different in a miniature gray water system. Uh, use and reuse, what a great principle. Okay, we, 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 we flush three gallons of, of totally potable drinkable water down, down the toilet every flush. Does that make any sense at all? It really doesn't when you think about from a water conservation perspective. So that is an example. And like I said, botanical cells using plants to filter interior and exterior. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples. The most basic system, a bucket. And you put it, instead of you know, your hose off of your washer going down the drain, it goes into a bucket, and then you go and you use it on whatever you need to use it on. Okay, very simple system. A little bit more complex, if you have an area that is uh, good for this type of thing, if it happens to, to work. Um, so for example, if we had water in this back corner, that would be fantastic. We could really utilize that as a gray water system. Uh, but they just did a little modification in some of the plumbing here. And the water from this sink doesn't have to be from your entire house. Remember, start small and simple. It doesn't have to be from your entire house. It goes out here and then it goes into this, this um, bunch of rocks, which is also a great little filter. And they probably have ornamental plantings out here. And so it takes care of that. You could have fruit trees out here. And that would be totally fine. You're not, there's no, there's no problem or issue with uh, contamination uh, in gray water systems as long as you filter it, okay? And plants do a great job of that. Um, you wanna be careful with what types of soaps and things you're using uh, for gray water systems. So our solar shower and, and, and things like that, we use natural products, okay? So there's no harsh chemicals in, in, in there that are getting into any of the, the streams. Okay, and, and actually, as you'll see here later, that water is used and reused and reused because it hits our ponds and it can be used for swales and then it gets caught again at another pond and then it gets caught again at another pond if it even flows over. Okay, so here, here's a little bit more complex but still very simple. So we have on this side here, you've got, uh, the, look at that, they have a lever it, so they can use the traditional septic, no problem, and maybe you have a really wet time of year it's just gonna go down the septic like normal. You switch it over and now it goes to this alternate system, which then is just a, a pipe that's coming outside. And what they've done is they've dug out this thing here and I don't know if you can see it, but it's basically a three pronged area that they've dug out. And, and what it really is is a simplified drain field like you would do in a septic. Okay, so look at the, the drawing down here you, again, you've got your, your alternate flow here outside and it's going to these three areas here. And it's going out to, for them, it's going into an orchard. And, and they probably don't have to do any, any extra irrigation depending on, on what they are uh, using for their water sources. So this is a great, gr a really great idea. And it can be done at the very simple level or it can be done at the very complex. Anybody recognize what this is? Tony? Oh, yeah. well, it's actually an earth ship. Earthship, it's an earth ship design. Anybody ever heard of an earth ship? Okay, I wanna talk about their water system because it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, they, they, they have mastered the, the use and reuse in this. So let's just wa walk through this flow real quick. It's a little bit more complicated, but set, set it up 
uh, the, the correct way up front would be really awesome. So what they have is they have a collection point uh, for water, they filter it, it goes through a, um, a pressurizer that goes into a, a pressurizer tank. Okay, boom, they've got just, now, now we're back to a normal system. Uh, but what do they do? They go over here and it gets used in, in a sink or a shower or any of your potable water areas. And, and then after it's used, what does it do? It goes into this botanical cell. So they've got interior cell where they've got plants growing and it goes through probably a medium of, of rock or volcanic rock and then with all the roots of the plants going down there, it's getting filtered. And from there it goes to, a, to a, another filter and it goes into a gray water tank. Okay, from that gray water tank, it, that, that is used to supply it to the, the toilets. Once it's used there, it obviously becomes black water and it goes to what they call a solar septic tank, which is really a, a traditional septic tank with, with glazing. So it literally is almost like a greenhouse over a, a solar tank, uh, I mean a septic tank. And then what that does is that, that extra heat and light gets in there, the microbes start working faster and it breaks it down faster. So from there it goes to an outdoor botanical cell and it uses it to feed or to water um, ornamentals or you know, non-edible type plants. Okay, pretty genius system. They're not, they're not using 100 gallons per day per person. Not, not here, they're just not doing it. And they're probably, they're not, they're still have the conveniences of running water and flushing toilets and things like that, okay? This is something I want to do someday. This, I, I really like this. This is an outdoor botanical cell. So gray water from the house. And this is an area what they call a marsh. And probably what it would look like is a gravel bed with some plants growing, okay? That's what it would look like. Um, and so water flows and, it's, and it just soaks that area, almost like aquaponics, if anybody's familiar with aquaponics. And then it, from there it flows and, and down in here, so reeds, cattail, all kinds of water-loving plants in, in here. And it goes into a series of small ponds, so this small pond with lots of aquatic plants and everything else growing around it. And that overflows into another small pond, which overflows into another small pond, which overflows into a bigger pond, and they're, they're growing duck or ducks and koi and aquatic plants in there. Would I be comfortable growing food in here? You could do it. Absolutely, you could do it. Um, you know, for some people, that the aversion there might not work for them. That's fine. Uh, but then, then remember what one of our principles was, is to, to manage the overflow and use it as a resource. So what are they doing? They're overflowing and overflowing and overflowing and then overflowing into a series of swales. And the swales would be a tree growing systems, which could be fruit, nuts, berry bushes, things like that. That's really good use of water. It was used in the house. Who knows, maybe four times if this was an earth ship, maybe once if it's not. And then it's reused through here. It's used to grow ducks, fish, water plants that are edible. And then it goes into swales that can overflow and grow tree systems. Amazing, okay? Uh, here's, an, here's a picture of an actual gray water system. I, you know, I don't know the, the ins and outs of this system, but it shows you just the beauty of it and, and how they're using and reusing water. And I'm sure that they have a managed overflow uh, through here, which again, uh, feeds aqua or waters aquatic plants. So really great system.